Test, test. We're going to get started in about one minute. I do need to extend a thank you to our maintenance crew and our custodians for coming out early in the morning, wiping down chairs, and also to a few staff members who came out early as well. We wiped them down again for the graduates. Um, and then we had our little, you know, you always look up and say you don't want it to rain. Well, we didn't look down when the sprinklers went off. And I hope our band dries off. Good. You're good? Okay. Okay, we will begin. Thank <laughs> you. 
That is our seventh grade band under the direction of Miss Perry Grasco. Please be seated. Good morning, everyone. I would like to extend a warm welcome to Mr. Michael Morris, our Board of Education Chairperson, the members of the school board who are present today with us up here, Ms. Heather Summer, Mr. Joseph Coletti, and Ms. Kirsten Erlinson. I'd also like to extend a welcome to Mr. Colin McNamara, our Superintendent of Schools, Ms. Valerie Bruneau, Superintendent in Andover, Dr. Penny Bristol, Principal of Ram High School, Mrs. Christine Hartwig, our Director of Pupil Services, and Ms. Kristen Brewer, our Supervisor of Pupil Services. Also, Ms. Carrie Ann Bell, the Assistant Principal here at the Middle School. And to all of our teachers and staff, and to the proud parents, guardians, families, friends, and especially a warm welcome to our eighth graders, members of the Ram Middle School Promotion Class of 2023 and High School Class of 2027. Welcome. Welcome. 
At this time, I'd like to call up the eighth grade course under the direction of Mrs. McTurney. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance and please remain standing for the national anthem as sung by our eighth grade chorus under the direction of Mrs. McCurry. I pledge allegiance. Please be seated. It is my pleasure to introduce Ms. Carrie Ann Bell, our assistant principal, to say a few words to the eighth grade class. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the eighth grade promotion ceremony for the Ram Middle School class of 2023. It is wonderful to see so many family and friends, board of end members, administration, faculty and staff here to celebrate you today on this beautiful morning. I am honored to address this year's eighth grade class. Today is a special occasion where we get to celebrate our students, their achievements, their perseverance, and their successes as they went through Ram Middle School. Your parents, family members, and Ram staff have worked hard to provide you a foundation that will serve you well as you move on to high school. And today is one of those days where you can take a moment to reflect and feel good knowing you are on the right path. To the eighth grade class, you should know your families are very proud of you today. They have high hopes and expectations for you and through your hard work, 
You have made them proud by showing them what you've accomplished. The people that you look up to for guidance have been in your shoes and will continue to be the ones beside you as you go through high school and beyond. So today would be a good day to thank them and hug them for supporting you along the way. During your two years here at Ram Middle School, you have learned many lessons in math, reading, science, the arts and other subjects to help you become better students. But the most important lesson I hope you learned is how to become better people. With each year at Ram Middle School, you have become stronger advocates for yourself, gained more independence, and learned a variety of academic and life skills. We had fun times here with our dances, team activities, get out and play day, high meadow, and field trips, which were all memorable. And now you're all stepping into a new milestone in your life and ready to move on to high school. So as you prepare for high school, I will ask you to think about one thing, the choices you make. Life is full of choices. We make choices every day. Simple ones like what to eat, what to wear, what to do when we're bored. We make other choices that impact ourselves and those around us. We can choose to be nice to someone or we can choose to ignore them. We can choose to be involved in our learning or you can sit back and let others do things for you. We can choose to try harder or to walk away and we can choose to come up with ways to solve our own problems or spend time complaining about them. Some of your most important life altering choices will start in high school. Which courses to take, what activities to get involved in, which path to choose after high school, and who you want to surround yourself with. Choose people who will push you through things, ones who will make your life greater, ones who will push you to be better, and ones who will question you. These will be the people you will come to count on and the ones will help shape who you become. And finally, the most important choice you can make, the one that will impact every aspect of your life, is the attitude you choose. The right mindset, no matter the challenge or decision you need to make, can alter your day, your week, your year, and even your life. There will be times you have a bad day and things won't go your way. But will you choose to have a negative attitude and give up? Or will you choose to stay positive and work through it? When you choose to approach things with a positive attitude, the sky's the limit. So get out of bed and start each day. Don't be afraid to ask for help. There'll be people there to help you and keep trying. It doesn't mean things will always be easy, but you can be sure if you push through, persevere, and work hard to achieve your goals, you will be successful and proud. I'll leave you with a quote from Eleanor Roosevelt. One's philosophy is not best expressed in words. It is expressed in the choices we make. In the long run, we shape our lives and we shape ourselves. The process never ends until we die. And the choices we make are ultimately our own responsibility. So the choices you make are yours. Own them and be proud of them. Take this summer to reflect on your middle school years and dedicate yourself to making the next year even better. Embrace the lessons you've learned so far. The next four years will be really exciting. You'll have more freedom, more people to get to know, more extracurricular activities and more opportunities. And I hope you'll be a part of it all. Enjoy every moment because it will go by fast. My wish for each and every one of you is to continue to learn new things, make good choices, continue to persevere and make all your dreams become a reality. Enjoy your summer. Congratulations to our middle school class of 2023, soon to be the high school class of 2027. And good luck to all you all. I'll now call up Dr. Michael Cerusi for his address to the class. Thank you, Ms. Bell. Good morning, everyone. I actually now have the fun part of the ceremony where I get to offer one final speech, one final farewell with a few words of wisdom to our parting eighth grade class. It was about two years ago that I greeted all of you in the middle school lecture hall and talked about how fast your time in middle school will go, and here we are today. At that time, I asked that you set goals for yourselves and try new things. 
Many of you did this and continue to do so. Also at that time, we talked about how you are coming together from the three towns to the middle school and that now you are a member of the RAM community. You are and you will continue to be. You have grown and learned a lot in your two years, whether it is solving complex math equations, writing an essay, measuring how fast you or your friend rides a skateboard down a set path, learning about the American Revolution, creating game pieces with a 3D printer, performing in band or chorus, or creating a wonderful piece of art. You have had the opportunity to try it all. In the process, you have started to hone your skills in the areas of critical thinking and problem solving, collaboration and communication, which are skills that will serve you well as you move on to the high school. They will also serve you as you embark on jobs and careers that only a few years ago did not exist. The world is constantly changing. If you are ever interested, and some of you may have seen this in one of your classes, watch the YouTube video, Did You Know? It described how the world has changed over the years using statistics about population growth, social media like Twitter and Facebook, and cell phone use. We know that has grown. It is an interesting quick video that speaks to the rapid changes that are occurring, occurring in the world around you. You will also be taking on new challenges and exploring new ideas around the world, about the world around you, and looking to answer the age-old question, how do I fit in? How can I make a difference? Ralph Waldo Emerson provides us an interesting perspective on this. The purpose of life is not to be happy, it is to be useful, to be honorable, to have it make some difference that you have lived and lived well. My next challenge for you is not really a challenge, but a question. What will you learn in high school over the next four years? What do you want to learn? What will you do after high school? These are all questions you will soon explore. However, remember you are not alone on this. You will have help in this endeavor and be able to take advantage of the diverse perspectives you will get from the high school teachers, your counselors, your coaches, your friends, and many other adults in your life that you will encounter on this journey. But always keep in mind that your greatest resource are your parents and guardians. They are there for you. Make sure that each stage, at each stage of your journey, you stop and tell them thank you. I think a quote from Albert Einstein sums it up. Learn from yesterday, live for today, hope for tomorrow. The important thing is to not to stop questioning. This is a great class of young people with many excellent and varied talents. I am looking forward to hearing about their accomplishments as they move to the high school and beyond. Well, enough words of wisdom. It is time to start the next phase. I want to wish you luck and good fortune as you leave Rand Middle School. Thank you for a wonderful year and good luck. It is now time to begin the promotion ceremony. We will read students' names and ask them to rise and then remain standing until the last name of the row is called. We ask that you hold your applause until all students' names in the row have been read. Ms. Bell will begin reading the first half of the names. All right, Ms. Shen's class. Brooke. M. Heffernan, Allison May Kaiser, Tristan Alejandro Madera, Austin Maeve Ross, Robert Noah Shadow, Ashley M. Shaw, Kale Jaden Stockberger, Tyler R. Woods, Ms. Shen's class. You can be seated. Mr. Jancis and Ms. Fodobowski's class. Isabella May Bangham. Andrew W. Campbell. Kaylin Rose Choyinski. Eden 
Robert Fagan. Gabriel Alex Goodwin. Mark Charles Hall. Olivia Helen Johnson. William Ryan Krajewski. Ariana N. Olson. Rebecca Nazareth Puerto. Carly Michael Spencer. Jeziel Morales. Reagan Thomas Sawyer. Mr. Jancis and Ms. Bodabowski's class. Maybe seated. Mr. McGowan's class. David L. Burial Jr. Zara Bajoy. Caleb Matthew Bilal. Lucas Alexander Butts. Jackson Martin Cameron. Jenna Eve Falkowski. Peyton Grace Henderson. Eva Marie Kelleher. Shaylee Evelyn Lowell. Quinn Terrence William McCarthy. Chase J. McLaughlin. Jeremy Jacob Rodriguez. Jacob Dylan Wheeler. Kara May Williams. Cole Zavasky, Mr. McGowan's class. You can be seated. Ms. Dwyer and Mrs. Duncan's class. Madison Bullduck. Bria Marie Beauvais. Hudson M. Burkhart. Angelo Kakamo. Isabella Rose Salona. Colby James Cooper. Liana Elizabeth Fox. Gabriella Paige Fushino. Ava L. Legace. Sumira Rose Lopes. Morgan Elizabeth McCarthy. Ava Rosemary Moore. Kevin D. Shaddle. Jason Vincent Schofield. Grace L. Sullivan. Ms. Dwyer and Mrs. Duncan's class. You can be seated. Mrs. Ouellette and Mrs. Bartosz's class. Dylan Patrick Bly. Danica Day. Evan Thomas Deniskert. Chloe Jade Dronzank. Tyler A. Farrelly. Douglas Haley. Brody Anton Harl. Preston J. Islieb. Zachary Nelson Giuliani. Bethany Faith Pedro. Jaslyn Michelle Pendleton. Russell A. Reed Jr. Caden Michael Rojas. Mason Billings Talaga. Caroline Faith Zegweed. Riley Joan Avery. Mrs. Ouellette and Miss Spartak class. You can be seated. Senora Sanati's class. Derek E. Barone. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan Grace Calhoun, Brendan Michael Connolly, Samantha Noel DeGray, Ariana 
W. Arazo, Addison May Garner, Lucas Connell Hester, Kaylee M. Kaufman, Marley Summer Coling, Joshua Charles Lavoy, Eddie Leo, Victoria Peslovska, Riel Luis Ramos, Alexander Luis Rivera, Robert J. Sanders, Shelby Zeps, Liam Tresser, Liam Lincoln Wallace, Jennifer Grace Wheeler, Sen Senora Sanadi's class. Dr. Sarusi will now continue reading the second half of the promotion list. Mr. Endow's class. Shannon Holleran Austin. Addison Grace Bell. Sean Isaac Daly. Shayla Rome Garrett. Jackson David Goyette. Ali Irani. Rebecca Kuninkiel. Charlotte Moore. Leela Violetta Pelletier. Laura Pineda. Logan Kenneth Rullier. Cameron Sandu. Justin Paul Williams, Mr. Endow's class. May be seated. Mrs. Lynch's class. Yusuf Ahmed. Alexa Lauren Beck. Julia Benedetto. Sarah Angela Bronwart. Candice Rose Fago. Riley Kayla Garofolo. Jaden Lewis Lavecchia. Benji Morrissey. Ella May Owens. Peter J. Skorsky. Vivian Stomberg. Justin Thomas Verastro. Tate Dylan Wilson, Brianna Catherine Wood, Olivia Marie Wright, <clears throat> Mrs. Lynch's class. Mrs. Allard's class. Caden Henry Besade. Brayden Driscoll Devine. Justin Anthony Espinoza. Julia Caroline Fournier. Daniel T. Gagnon. Gavin Wade Gentile. Christopher Ryan Klein II. Addison Lee Krynick. Cohen Anthony Chakini Lee. Addison Elizabeth Lemieux. Jude Harrison Numeth. Jordan West Pinkham. Shannon Mary Ellen Regan. Elizabeth Ann Cementa. Samuel Stern. Mrs. Allard's class. Mr. Stein's class. Mia Anna. Mia Anna Carico. Alexander Thomas Ayer. Silas Brian Clifton. 
Brody Foley, Joshua M. Guay, Michaela Hines, Lila May Jakes, Allie May Lewis, Joseph Robert Mangifico, Gavin Blake Miller, Casper Maljanowski, William Raymond Pape, Leah Petro, Braden Gianni Popajuk Minus, Reagan Marie Stanford, Clear Zed Toe, Brody Charles Wallace. Mr. Stein's class. Ms. Mondo's class. Lanny Elizabeth Asklar. Olivia Vilas Chicoin. Tiernan Adams Fitzsimmons. Alexander F. Gerlanda. Haley Jennifer Goloshevsky, Mia Elizabeth Hall, Riley A. Kishel, Kaylee Jewel Cott, Liv Addison Lofmark, Damian A. Mater, Abigail K. Micklick, Riley Geneva Ming, Juliet Elizabeth Neal, Zachary Jonathan Scott, <laughs> Jack Tarkington, Khalees Elizabeth Townsend, Miles Nicholas Urio, Miss Mondo's class. Ms. Golas and Ms. Ailman's class. Daniel Foot Bronzy Jr. Liana S. De Cruz. Leah Madison Danaher. Brody Kyle Gusho. Ashton Houghton. Madison Elizabeth Jello. James D. Knox, <coughs> Cooper David O'Keefe, Vincenzo Paragon, Keenan Charles Rodriguez, Tyler S. Sadlowski, Nathan Daniel Soloway, Peyton L. Sulia, Emily Rose Timko, London Olivia Victoria Van Meter, Jameson Michael Watts, <laughs> Miss Gullis and Miss Ailman's class. Let's please give a round of applause to the promotion class of 2023. At this time, I would like to present the future high school class of 2027 to the high school principal, Dr. Penny Grisgill. Congratulations on successfully completing your middle school years. Now that this is behind you, I have no doubt that you all easily transition to the high school without much effort. You've already proven to be flexible, patient, and able to rise to challenges. My one piece of advice to you, though, is to get involved. We have so many clubs, activities, and sports for you to choose from, and getting involved makes your high school experience more enjoyable because you will make new friendships with those interested in the same things and feel more connected to the school community. And as a bonus, it has been proven that you will perform better academically when you do get involved. So over the summer, think about what you might want to join and then make a promise to yourself to follow through. 
You will not regret it. Enjoy the summer and your much needed and deserved break. We cannot wait to welcome you, the Ram High School Class of 2027. One more round of applause, applause for the freshman class. This concludes our promotion ceremony. We ask that you remain seated and allow the students to recess fully to avoid congestion. They will meet you in the back over there when we're done. Congratulations to the eighth grade class and to the, now the ninth grade class. Thank you. 